Hello and welcome to the show. We are here on the long drive in unfamiliar surroundings. It's been a while since I have been back to the uh, to the starting house. Things went wrong last time out. We got killed by a glitchy truck that took us forever to find. So we're going to try again. We're going to start our journey afresh and see what. Uh, what might befall us? In fact, the first thing to figure out is what have we got to drive? Oh, okay, we've got an estate car. That's a good start. I like the estate cars. Estate cars are cool. We have... Ah, okay, we've got a... We haven't got the two-stroke engine. I'm happy with that. We have a sensible enough engine. Uh, we can make the car... Oh, we can't make the car purple. Of course not, because it's completely rusted through. Um, Right, okay, so... We have got to figure out what on earth we're doing. In fact, first thing first is we should probably figure out where is the gas tank going to be situated in this one because they all seem to have a different location. And I'm probably... that There it is. It just blends in with the rust. <laughs> it's difficult to tell when it's all just blending in with the rust. Right, let's go and bring this over here. Uh, we can fill the car up. Now, we'll take these canisters with us. We've got two and a half litres. Not much will hopefully be enough for us. Uh, probably open the doors a little bit. I say that, I've got to be really careful of, you know, the rabbits. We technically haven't died to rabbits yet. Instead, all we've done is died to a glitch trap. We've got very close to death by rabbits. Uh, right, so we definitely want to have binoculars. We definitely want to have a gun. And we will bring the bullets with us as well. I mean... It's nowhere near as good as the revolver or assault rifle that we did have, but it's going to have to do for us today. No sign of rabbits, actually, at the moment. That is good. Uh, right, let's just check what we've got. Uh, I mean, we may as well... Uh, fill this up with stuff that we have at the moment. We might as well like fill the radiator uh, for now. It makes sense. We'll 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 bring what's left with us. But if we can fill this all up as much as possible, just puts us in a good just a good a good starting point. We will be better prepared for this journey than we ever were before. Uh, right, that can drop into there. I haven't checked. Oh god, my tires are crap. <laughs> Okay, one tire is crap. That tire there is not great. Uh, are they cannonballs? Oh no, but <laughs> so why they would be? Like, why would we have cannonballs in our garage? Uh, but they are. There's some barbells. What is that actually? Is that a temperature gauge? Uh, no, that's a speedo. Never mind. Uh, do we not have one in this car? I mean, maybe we're going to need to. It does look like we have a speedo in the car. I'd be surprised if we didn't. To be honest with you. Uh, right. Oh, no, just leave that like that. Uh, we will fill up with the rest of the oil that we have. I think we should have a... I mean, ultimately the goal is going to be, once again, to get hold of a truck. Uh, that will be the continuing theme of all this. So, if we have a barrel... That's a barrel full of oil... Ah, uh, we'll be fine on that. We've never really had that much problem with consumables like oil. I'm sure we might at some point. I'm sure now I've said that we will. Uh, I did also notice. Come here, Jeff. You are going to be our mascot this time. Uh, I've literally dropped you. But we are going to have Jeff the mascot properly on our vehicle this time around because we have a basket. Uh, this is the important stuff. Yes, before we set off, we've got to make sure uh, we have our hood ornament giraffe sat ready and waiting. Can I just make it so that it sits a little better on here? Uh, here we go. Right. Giraffe, friend, come with us. Now, we have got to have you uh, sat in here. Nope, that's not works. But <laughs> Can we kind of figure out the right way to manipulate the damn thing? So that, uh, that there we go. That's the ticket. 
Just about. This is this is the most delicate operation I will do in the long drive, is trying to get the giraffe to sit. Hey! Okay, it'll do! Just stay there. Okay, it is, it is stuck there. Um, I mean, we could probably use this, it kind of makes sense in some ways, uh, to use this on the wheels. Uh, I use it on the car instead. <laughs> Actually, I mean, it kind of worked. You know what? Not too disappointed with that. I was hoping that was going to be on the on the tyres, uh, but it wasn't. So never mind. Uh, we'll try and fix up the wheels as best we can before we set off. We have got a good condition tyre in the boot of the vehicle. It's not going to be perfect. It's kind of... I mean, again, this is the start of the journey, but we might as well go off as prepared as we possibly can be in this instance. Um, I think these tyres here are crappy as well. They actually look slightly better than the ones on the car, so I might do that. If we just go there, dismount that. Now, this does matter. There is a reason why I am doing this. This does legitimately make a difference to the car's handling. Uh, it will make it much nicer to drive if we have good condition tyres. I mean, we'll try and fix them all up over time, but... What's the worst one? Uh, that one, I would say. Uh, I don't know, actually. It's really difficult to tell. They're all pretty bad. I mean, the wheels aren't exactly great either. So... I'm not sure we're making all that much difference here. We're going to keep the good wheel in the boot for now, but we'll see. We may well have to change our, our plan with that. Uh, we will pick up this brush. I mean, I feel like for the moment, I might as well use... The, I mean, this is what we're going to do with it. Most likely. So, we'll do this. Um... You know, actually, we'll keep the rest of the brush. I guess we'll probably keep this car until we find a truck, to be fair. Uh, can I just chat? Ah, it works. <laughs> we'll see. I, like, I don't know. We have a, we can have the best plan in the world, and then the long drive can screw said plan over. Uh, we've got to try and find the siphon, actually. I'm gonna, I was going to try and bring that with us this time around. Uh, we will get that out of the way. Uh, it looks very dumb with the rusted wheel and that, but never mind. Uh, yeah, we're going to try to find the siphon. I don't know where it is in this house. Uh, there is potential... Ooh. I'll take an extra sponge. Sorry, we've been... We will get to the driving part. Just, this is the... Is it, well, this is the, kind of the exciting pre-driving part. Uh, this is downstairs. Do we have a siphon down here? We have a. Tr we <laughs> We're well sorted for uh, for alcohol. We've got a drum full of diesel. Uh, do I take diesel drum with us? I mean, this is the hoping that we find a truck at the first place. I mean, if we did find a truck at the first place with everything but diesel in it, I would be really annoyed, having you know, knowing there was a drum of diesel in my house. I can sense the glitchy physics occurring immediately. How do I get upstairs? Is there not a way to sensibly get upstairs? Am I going to have to glitchy climb my way upstairs? Ah, glitchy climb my way upstairs has worked. Uh, <laughs> if in doubt, glitchy climb! That seems reasonable. Uh, the not a snake, there we go. This would have saved our life last time had I had it. But I didn't. So, well, it didn't. Uh, oh, there's another spray bottle over there. Cool. Uh, right, so we can coil this up. It means we should be able to put it places. Uh, no. Okay. We know it'll be out of physics. That's definitely not dangerous. Where I've left that. Ah, yes. Super spray bottle. Uh, no, we'll go down and pick it up in a second. <laughs> if that landed in the bucket, I would have been very happy. Uh, but no. Is that? Oh, it's just like a random thing you can have. Oh, right. We'll take the sponge as well. This is when I'm going to get in a car and it's not going to work. <laughs> I am fully expecting that to be the outcome, or we'll go through all of this, we'll be as well prepared as is sensibly possible, and then we'll get eaten by a rabbit at the first stop. That also quite likely. Okay, I think we're good. I think we are, hopefully, good to go. It'll be weird having a car 
that actually handles like a car. <laughs> we are out of the house. We are on the way. Here we go. Let's see what this sensibly driving vehicle can do. Uh, there are rabbits about, but nothing came to attack us, which was really kind of them. They just kind of did their own thing. God, look at this. It's driving in a straight line. It's not randomly glitching about. Although, let's not speak too soon. We have only been driving for a couple of seconds. But there is no massive, silly uh, glitching out going on. Um, look at this. We're off on our journey with a new vehicle. We have our giraffe. We can actually take corners. Look at this. I can steer. We can dodge rocks. We can bobble along the outside. We probably shouldn't do that. Uh, all right. We are all good up to 100 kilometers now. Now, we were cruising at about 120, 140 before with the bus engine. Um, now, there are sneaky ways. And if, if we don't find a truck quickly, I'm not necessarily expecting us to find a truck quickly. But, uh, you know, depending on what we find along the way, I would happily shove a bus engine in this. And I'd probably try without going for the donk approach. The donk approach was fun. Like, don't get me wrong, uh, but there are other ways to get speed out of the bus engine. It's geared badly, but you can kind of do a little sneaky workaround. So we'll probably try that instead uh, this time out. Up until we find, hopefully, a truck. Whoa, dear. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Game. Uh, okay. Thank you, Cactus. Oh! We actually have got a bit of Cactus here. Cool. I guess we'll drink. I can go in the boot as well. I think we've got some cactus on our roof. It's fine. I Yeah. <laughs> so, I should say, even while this car isn't glitchy weirdness like the donk, it's still not exactly the best driving physics ever invented. It can still wander around a little bit. And I'm driving on a keyboard, uh, which is never the, quite the easy. I'm driving on a keyboard just because it's easier when you're getting in and out of the car a lot and so on. Uh, the other stuff really needs to be done on, on keyboard. I mean, we found our first building right along the side of the road. Actually, looks pretty promising. Is that one of the big? Is that one of the big petrol stations or one of the, that might be one of the big restaurants? Actually, <laughs> see, it was worth. Well, it was kind of worth. It might be worth it. Depends on if I can actually get that started. Uh, do you have an engine? I mean, look, couldn't do this one better if I bloody tried. Uh, okay. You do look like you have an engine. We have diesel. We're going to not get killed this time, I hope. Okay, let's have a look around. Here is a truck. This is what we were after before. It has an engine. It has an engine. Oh, it has a top part. It is actually a much more complete truck than we found before. It's not in Great Nick, but, you know, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Uh... Can we close you? I'm going to have to keep an eye out for rabbits because I will probably get killed. No, my luck. You know what we're going to do? We are going to try and maybe glitchy jump our way up onto a roof somewhere so we can have a sleep. No, okay, not going to glitchy jump our way up there. Maybe we'll just go hide in the bowels of the restaurant. Far away from where any rabbits might try and disturb our sleep. At least that's the hope. Yep, we're gonna sleep about here. <laughs> right, sleepy time. Okay, that could not have gone better. I mean, as, as far as possible outcomes of everything, this is the tippy top outcome. We got some gas, that's no good. We got some oil. I mean, those, those bits will potentially come in handy. Let's see what we have got in this truck. We know we have the engine. Uh, I've got to be really careful I don't get screwed over by things. Okay, the fuel tank is completely empty. That I can work with. Now, I believe if we get in here and do that, just go over that side, we can have a look. Okay, so that is empty as well. Do we have a radiator that I can see? Just trying to figure out... Okay, radiator is empty. 
let's see what we can find around here to make the truck work. <laughs> if we can find enough water, I don't want to try and do the tricky juggling act of water out of... Like, that's got oil. I mean, we're going to need oil. That is, I'm actually surprised there normally is, like, car parts around. Oh, <gasps> yes! <laughs> we have a hat. Knife is better when you have a hat. Uh, at least I take that with this game to be the case. Uh, okay, some water. It's not much, but it is better than nothing. I don't know how much that's going to hold. I'm hoping by at least pouring like, a tiny bit in, it's going to tell me how much I need for the um, radiator. That should be it done. Okay, I can hold up to 10 litres of water. Now, we know we don't have that. What can I scrounge? Is there a tap in here? I might be able to do something sneaky. I say something sneaky. Something useful. Ah, ha, ha! Oh, yes! Okay, life is good. But this is literally the best stocked, best possible outcome. Game, you have been unbelievably generous, if I'm honest with you here. The game has been so generous. Uh, can we make the truck shiny? I would say that's pretty shiny truck. Right there. Nice. Uh, I'm getting distracted. We're going to get killed because I'm out. I, I should probably make the truck work before I faff around making it shiny. Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea, actually. Wouldn't it? Uh, right, can we open that? Uh, just throw, <laughs> throw stuff in the back. I was going to shut the door, but it's not like we're going to have any problems. I do wonder whether the game has a system whereby, like, early on in your journey, less stuff is spawning. Like, I don't see any rabbits at the moment. Doesn't mean there aren't rabbits around, but I don't see any. What's in this barrel while I check? Uh, a lot of blood. If it wasn't for the fact... Oh, now I see a rabbit. If it wasn't for the fact I want to get this truck to work, I'd be really tempted to uh, see if I could run the coolant system on blood. But I do want the truck to work, so I'm not going to risk that. Ah! <laughs> it's, I forgot about that. that oh, pff, I don't want that. I wanted this. What are you full of? You have got water in you. Uh, that's fine. We shall fill this up. Now, this truck will not quite last like this forever. Uh, I will say, the from what I've been told, the bus engine is the one you want, ideally. So, we will go for a change to a bus engine when we can. But, as I said, this is literally... As starts go, this is perfect. Uh, I don't know whether I can fill this up in here. I feel like I should be able to. I feel like this is going to be janky uh, as anything when we try this. But who knows? Can I can I do this? Is it working? Can I tell if it's working? Oh, it would probably help. No, it's definitely not working. No, oh, there we go. Okay, we just got to hold it in a slightly different way. <laughs> I can see no problem with this at all. Uh, all is good. All is good here. Uh, I don't know how else you fill up jerry cans. If I'm perfectly honest with you, this does seem like the most logical way to do this. Okay, and then... Oh, no. Wait. Okay, most logical way, and then I've poured it over... And now it's worked. Uh, right, we've poured water everywhere. It's fine, and no one else is going to need this place, right? <laughs> it, it's it's how it works. In the in, in the long drive, you fill up, you you waste all of the water for yourself, and don't care about the next person that comes along. I could be the last person on the planet. I mean, I presume we're Australia, just judging by the scenery. But honestly, I don't know. Um, It's fine. We'll fill this radiator up. We'll fill it up with oil as well. And then we should be fairly set to go. Right. That is full of water. Happy days. Now, 
put... <laughs> Don't do that, just throw the uh, jerry can around, put the jerry can in the back of this. I mean, look at all of the space we have for storing of crap. It is glorious. It is the most glorious of things. Um, let's go fill up the oil. I think I spotted some oil over here. Might as well use these cans as well. Do spy a rabbit. I mean, it's a small concern. Is there a better... I feel like there should be a better way to do all of this. Also, I'm not quite sure what the point of this bit here is. Like, why do I have a hole in there? I definitely feel like there's an easy way of filling up this oil. Because I'm not 100% sure. Let's just take this out for a second. Can I sit in a seat while holding the oil? That is the concern part that I had. No, don't push the truck. We learnt what happened last time. Uh, yeah, can I sit down while holding this? Okay, I can. Alright, that's that's good to know. Uh, just throw that away. It's fine. We have another one in here with not much oil in it. Don't tell me the oil is going to be the problem. If we do something dumb and I end up dying... Uh, pick that up. Yes, just about. If we do something really dumb and I end up running out of oil having found this, I'm going to be really annoyed. There's probably another one of those oil cans about. There could be something on the roof of the bus station, I guess. Uh, right, oil, 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 oil. There was something down here, wasn't there? You got oil in it? 1.2 litres. I think that was gas in the jerry can. I'm also, you know, we, we have got car oil going on. I'm going to just assume that it works in the truck. <laughs> it's It'll be fine. I can't see any way this will break at all. Oh, that's not supposed to be down there. Okay, we will throw you out the door just for safety. Safety reasons and all that. One more check. Oh, that, that might also be some oil. I could probably do this a little bit efficiently. That's got gas in it. I say a little bit efficiently. I'm never that efficient. I will take this though. And uh, we'll take a spray bottle that's full with us. Okay, no more oil in there. It should run like this. Okay, I am being a little bit picky. Uh, we should we should be able to run with it as it is. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to chuck everything into the boot. Uh, I mean, we can actually... Oh, see. That's a steam uh, overlay there. I mean, we want to fix up this. So, I'll use this brush here. The wheels, I haven't actually paid a blind bit of attention to. We're just going to work on the basis that they're fine. Really. Uh, okay, well, that's ruined. Uh, let me check everywhere now. Anything, anything else useful? Oh, there's another spray bottle. I'll take that. Oh, also some people said you could open the cupboard under there. There's just a bat in the a bat thing in there. Maybe we'll stick that in the back, and I'll forget about it and scare the crap out of myself in about three episodes' time. Uh, come on, bat. Uh, yay! Yeah, you got it out the window. I thought that out the door, not the window. There's just an arm and some turds in the shower, nothing else. I don't know what the crowbar's for. Um... Does it have any uses other than hit stuff? I feel like trying to melee combat rabbits is a quick recipe for death. So, yeah, I'm probably not going to bother with the crowbar. Somebody is going to tell me I'm wrong there, naturally. But for now, I'm going to just not... <laughs> just not going to risk it. Right. Oh, pff. well, I mean, we got it into the cab of the truck. We did want it in the truck, just maybe not quite there. Uh... This will definitely be fine and not go everywhere the second something goes a little bit awry. Still checking for rabbits, because I know that's going to be the death of me one way or another. Uh, jerry can of nothing, but I'll take that because we can fill you full of something as and when might be needed. Uh, okay. Can we fit you... 
back on here. Close that. Where did it go? Oh, bloody hell. Ooh! No, no. Uh, press the wrong button. <laughs> And that is not something you often have a problem with in uh, with, with with vehicles. You don't often press the wrong button. Uh, I mean, I guess you know sometimes handbrakes get accidentally taken off and stuff, but still, uh, I don't know where the uh, bit went that was for the center console kind of area. Where did it end up? Has he just gone off to space? Well, I mean, it's not exactly like it's a fundamental part of working here. So, I could siphon the oil out of the car. I'm I'm going to go with... I'm going to make the executive decision of saying the four litres is going to be fine. Now, that may be a bad execu executive decision. I don't know. <laughs> Slightly concerned it is. Uh... But we will see. And I also don't know how quickly this is going to burn through all the diesel. I don't know what the fuel consumption is going to be like on the truck. Is that all of our diesel? It is all of our diesel gone. Okay. Uh, we'll take the barrel with us. We could take the barrel of blood. I don't know what we'd do with it. But we could take the barrel of blood. Right. Jeff. It is time to come with us. Uh... I don't know if you can sit on the front of this. Can you sit on the front of this? It looks like you can. <gasps> yes! Yes! We have got a... It's a slightly lopsided, but it's going to have to do. Um, we have... We have Jeff. Uh, important mascots. We have a truck that I think is about ready to go. We'll, we'll fix it up a little bit as we go along, but let's just actually fire it up and let's get driving we have a truck <laughs> look at this it is actually working it isn't gonna be epically fast not much can be done about that well I say that I mean it's quite quick it's a you know decently controlled we can carry as much stuff as we possibly want in here and when we get the bus engine hopefully it will be much faster than this so yeah I mean we're, we're, we're getting up to the hundred kilometer an hour mark I mean it's pretty big. Oh, okay we're actually yeah we're going the truck is shifting now um, the rev counter is off the end oh no wait hold on that's not a rev counter Wait, it is it acting like one. I'm not sure. For a second I thought that was a temperature gate. No, no, the temperature one's below it. The temperature is quite warm. The rev counter is completely broken. I have no idea how fast we're going, but it is quite bloody fast, I'll tell you that much. Have we got a speedo going around on itself? I, oh, no, wait, that's a clock. We have a clock in here. <gasps> wow, this is quite... Like, advanced and everything. Um, there is a big water tower over there. Whoa. That I feel like we might as well go and visit. We might as well fill up a jerry can full of water. Just in case. You never really know. I guess there could be something else that spawns here. I don't think there is. I think the water towers are mostly just stuff on their own. But there we go. Yeah, no idea how fast we're going, other than off the speedo. And we will... Handbrake turn! Not quite intentional. <laughs> we will come careering to a halt in all of that. I mean, it takes a little bit of time getting going, however... I will say... It's certainly, uh... It's certainly got some speed about it. Okay, the truck is everything I'd hoped it would be. The truck is absolutely everything I hoped it would be. It's a bit of a mess in there, but we don't look in there. I think we should be safe from that going too far, though. It does seem relatively safe. I mean, we also always have the nice, comfortable spot on top of the truck to overlook the world. Well, there we go. Um, <laughs> we finally have a working truck in the most bizarro way. I did not expect that. <laughs>
after all of my bloody searching. Turns out one restart, the first thing we come across is a truck with everything basically on it. Apparently the long drive gods giveth and they, some, they, they take it away, but they can sometimes, you know, be kind and all that. But uh, there we go. That is going to be it for this for this episode. I guess we'll have to keep going and try and get the bus engine in this and see how fast we can make it. All of that good stuff will be for another time. That shall be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a goodbye. <laughs>